Decluttering makes you feel overwhelmed? Don't worry, I got your back. <laughs> so, since I can't only live with 100 things, as you may have seen in my latest video, I also have to declutter, which is definitely the worst part of this whole getting rid of stuff thing. So actually I wanted to show you the whole process of me decluttering, all those time lapses I did and everything super organized and structured just like YouTube know it. But to be honest, I felt super overwhelmed, anxious about everything, I had several breakdowns. And to avoid that, I actually want to share my five biggest mistakes I did while decluttering so you don't feel as overwhelmed as I did. But before we get into that, let me just show you the mess I was when decluttering. So now that we got this clear, let's go straight into decluttering. We've got lots to deal with here. So I don't know why, but somehow I I just have so much stuff. I'm I'm just super overwhelmed by all the stuff I own. And I'm having a huge throwback moment to the time when I came back from Thailand. I don't know where it came from. I don't know how it happened, but somehow I have a lot of stuff. Like my original plan was to really declutter everything upfront so I don't have to deal with the mess when I'm at my mom's but now guess what change of plans because um, turns out I don't have time anymore to um, declutter everything and um, yeah because I have like two more days before the move and I have to work one of those two days and the other day is already planned for filming and editing all day because I have to um, to keep up with my plan of putting out YouTube videos every week, which is my priority. <laughs> I'll just pack everything up in boxes now and um, put all of them in the, in the cellar of my mom. And then I will take a box one by one and um, then I start decluttering. I'm the kind of person that has the same as in her head, in her room and on her computer tabs so you know a lot more about me by now welcome back in my mom's place the move is over i cannot believe it it was crazy how much stuff I still have. Let's just say I was way too late to declutter everything because I was stressed even without the move and everything. I was completely overwhelmed and then I started to put everything out and then there was all the stuff lying around and I was overwhelmed. So I decided to just put everything into bags and to boxes and yeah, <laughs> deal with it at a later time. So mistake number one is to think decluttering can be all done in one day and especially right before your move. First of all, decluttering can be done throughout the whole year. It doesn't have to be whenever you're moving. Especially you should not do it like right before the move because you have so many things to think about. Decluttering will stress you out even more. I can definitely not recommend to put this exhausting task into a super small amount of time. So, like me, putting it into the two weeks I had while working, even on weekends, had to deal with all the stuff like new flatmates, casting and moving out, cleaning up, all that kind of stuff. And it just freaked me out. 
So in the end I just put everything in boxes without structuring without structuring at all. Just put everything in there, whatever it was, trash, everything. And I had to deal with everything again when I unpacked here. So don't do that. <laughs> Please take your time. Another big mistake I did is don't do it on a super bad and already stressed day. And I know it's easier said than done, but there are days that are lighter and less stressed. Please don't do it on a day when you walk up on the wrong side of the bed, when your boss yelled at you, when maybe your partner just broke up or you're just having a super bad day. And we all have those super bad days. Just please don't do it on those days because this will stress you out even more. This also correlates with number one. Because if you have a lot of time, you can pick the days you're actually feeling it, you're actually in the mood. And so it's still not a super cool task, but manageable. <laughs> so once you plan it, you have a big amount of time, you have a not really stressed day, then we can actually start. While we're... <laughs> Probably one of my biggest mistakes was to start decluttering while my room was a complete mess and not organized at all. But I thought I don't have the time to tidy up first, so I just start decluttering right away. How wrong was I? <laughs> and maybe that's just my personal problem because I'm not the tidiest person in the world. But please make sure to tidy up your room first and then organize it. So you can just put them put all your stuff into different categories like I did with my 100 things challenge. So you can basically put like taller trees together, your clothes together. And just have everything in categories so you actually see what you have. You can see all the duplicates, like if you have four mascaras, you only need one. And see all the stuff that's usually hidden somewhere back there in this drawer. Make it all visible, baby. <laughs> and then get over each category, step by step, day by day. Again, not all in one day. Take your time so it's not this huge amount of stuff all at once. And this also leads to my next mistake, which is actually don't get all your stuff out at once and try to declutter it. Like if your stuff is already organized, like I said in the point before, you won't have that problem. But if it ain't because not always it is super organized in a room, you start with one corner, then you think, oh, there's something that correlates with that in the drawer on the other hand, and then you put that drawer out. You don't find that piece, then you put the whole drawer out, and all of a sudden your whole room is full of stuff, and you're feeling overwhelmed. Again, even if nothing is super organized before, please get out one drawer by one. Don't do it all at once, please. One mistake I did, and it's probably a mistake I do all over my life, is to think I have to do it all on my own. No help allowed, because of course it is my mess, so I have to deal with it. But really, help is not forbidden. Call a friend, declutter together, I mean, make a party out of it, have a drink, have good music, and just get through with it. It makes more fun if you are two or three people, right? And maybe your friends can find stuff you don't need any more, but they need, so win-win. And now we're having a little bonus tip, which is probably known for a lot of people that already talked about decluttering, but it is don't be too assistant. <laughs> when you get into decluttering, especially if you're in the process already, it can easily get to a point where you're like, oh, I may need this top for the location event that could be maybe taking place next year or the year after if I get invited because I may be still friends with this and this person. You know what I mean? The chances that you're really gonna take that top out are not really high. 
and it's not worth it to keep something for the maybe it's happening someday. So if you didn't use anything for the last 6 or 12 months, you're probably not gonna need it. And if you still do, you can always rebuy it, you can borrow it from friends, but if you're now being super brutal with decluttering, the mess itself gets so much less and you won't feel that overwhelmment again so soon. <laughs> so my friends, those were my five plus one <laughs> biggest mistakes I did while decluttering. I really want to keep you from this overwhelming feeling I had and I had it many times and it took me ages to get through with it. So please, please, please <laughs> follow these steps and if you have any mistakes you've made or any tips for us to not feel overwhelmed, please put them down there in the comments to help us all. And also, if you're feeling bad about throwing stuff away, you can always donate it, sometimes you can sell it, so it lands somewhere where it sparks joy for another person. So I really hope my tips were helpful for you and you won't feel super overwhelmed next time you're decluttering. So until my next video, stay tuned, stay curious and stay creative, my friend.